30 seconds to put it. And I heard your earlier reply on the uh, Climate Change Performance Index. Of course, uh, Ireland performed very badly. I think we were 48 out of 56 countries. 27 per cent of a uh, third of our emissions, of course, are from transport. Um, and uh, uh, the amounts that you provided, for, uh, of course, in the National Development Plan for, uh, for um, uh, green transport and environmentally friendly transport are uh, 8.6 uh, million. Uh, now, we, we were supposed to have an all-of-government plan from the new Minister for the Environment and and can you tell us what you're doing about Thank that area much. in transport Thanks specifically? Much, Thanks. Uh, Thank you, Deputy. As the Deputy is probably aware, in, in Budget 2019, I secured funding of almost £790 million for sustainable mobility measures. This allocation will be invested in public transport, transport infrastructure services, cycling and walking initiatives, and in other measures designed to reduce our carbon footprint. The framework for this significantly enhanced level of funding is, of course, the National Development Plan, which outlines a number of significant measures designed to support sustainable mobility. These measures include bus connects in all major cities, Metrolink, DART expansion and increased funding for the heavy rail network generally. In 2019, we will see expanded PSO bus fleets through the provision of around 65 additional buses to the bus fleet in Dublin alone while we will also see around 85 older buses replaced by more modern and environmentally friendly buses as part of the bus replacement programme. This order also represents the last diesel only order as from 2019 onwards the NTA will end the purchase of diesel only buses for the urban PSO bus fleets. In support of that move, a comprehensive series of low emission bus trials has just commenced in Dublin with support from the Green Public Transport Fund and from multiple agencies, including the NTA, Dublin Bus and Bus Erin. It is expected that the trials will conclude in April 2019. A final report will be produced, which will inform the best lower emission options or options for our PSO services in the GDA and in the regional cities. Next year, we'll also see we will also see consultations continue on the Bus Connects Dublin programme, with a second round of public consultation on the pr proposed new bus network and cons consultations continuing all through the first half of the year on the proposed new bus and cycle lanes. Bus Connects is a significant programme with an allocation of £2.4 over the lifetime of the NDP and will deliver improved journey times and expanded services which will benefit tens of millions of passenger journeys each year. In 2019, yes, we will also continue to plan for the delivery of Metrolink with the second round of consultations. Dodge the hard decisions in terms of env having environmental transport. Uh, for example, uh, there's major shortages of rolling stock, which you know is one of the major reasons why we've had uh, chaos and confusion and, and serious overcrowding and dangerous overcrowding on the north side uh, Dart and, and west side uh, commuter uh, lines. But you dodge the key decisions, uh, for, uh, for example, in relation to the equalisation of diesel and petrol, um, in, in relation to uh, providing uh, significant uh, for, uh, you know, for, for green uh, infrastructure. Um, uh, aviation has been a huge contributor, uh, obviously, to uh, carbon emissions uh, uh, over the years and growing. And I notice that I think Ryanair uh, asks his passengers now to make a contribution uh, to their carbon footprint. Uh, but nonetheless, the whole area of kerosene is an area that the government hasn't, hasn't looked at. Uh, again, the rollout of, a, of an electric vehicle network. Uh, on a whole range of areas, all you've done, Minister, is mark time. You have done nothing significant. Minister. Um, I don't expect the Deputy expects me to agree with that, which of course I don't uh, uh, at all. I think we've made some uh, really significant and environmentally friendly decisions, uh, some of which I've already, I've already uh, explained, explained to you. The, um, on the EVs, you know, there is you're quite right in the EVs to some extent. They've been very disappointing. Uh, certainly up to this year, they were very disappointing. But the deputy will be aware that the numbers actually at the moment now are rocketing, uh, admittedly from a low base, but they're moving up very, very fast. And we're very optimistic that uh, they are now going to be a far more common and uh, successful product and that uh, we're going to buy into them in a big way. We have to. And we're, the incentives which we've produced, I think, have, have sent numbers uh, rising very, very quickly. The other ones, I don't think you give us due credit for the fact that uh, 
Bus Connect, Metrolink, right, Minister, Dart thanks, Expansion, up. the Royal Canal, the Dodda, the Greenway from Clontarf, with near, near your own constituency to the city centre, are all, clean, are all clean transport. Deputy Bruin. This government, uh, you, you had the responsibility for developing environmental um, uh, uh, transport links, um, which I think you un unfortunately have failed in. And, and we're now facing a situation where uh, we, you know, we could have fines ranging from 65 million euro to 130 million euro, euro per percent. Uh, of our 2020 uh, environmental targets not being met. Uh, so, I mean, this is a grave fiscal failure, uh, and, and uh, I, I have a motion, I think, on the, on the dull clore today, can, uh, relating to the devastating report of the Fiscal Advisory Council in relation to um, uh, the uh, uh, irresponsible um, and uh, um, it, it, thoughtless fiscal approach of Minister Pascal Dunhu and your government. But certainly in transport, that's also the case, Minister, isn't it? Minister, to conclude. Please. Yeah, I mean, the, the deficit is right. We've work to do. We have a lot of catching up to do. I, I don't make any, any bones about that. But I, what I did spell out in my initial response was uh, the plans we have to do it. And I'm very confident that, in fact, huge improvements and strides are going to be made. We, we've, we're catching up to do, and the deputy is right. But let's, you, what you didn't address was the, was the large projects which we, are, which, which, are, which we are already committed to, which will be which will be, I think, very progressive in the, in, in the environmental sphere. Sorry, I want to, I want to sit down for Deputy Toby. All right. Yeah.